Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a simple piece of technology you can hook up to your garage door opener. It works on any garage door opener and with it you can open your garage door anywhere in the world via your cell phone by a text message. You can also set up other users so they can do the same. You can install passwords, you can set automated timers so that your garage door will close at a specific time or you know at a certain amount of time after it's been open. It's really cool, easy to install so let me show you a bit about it. So this is the product, it's called the Paladin. It's uh, made by a US company. They sent it to me in hopes we do a review on it. So here's a look at what you get when you order one. This is the unit itself, and this is what's gonna attach to the opener. You can buy one that opens one or two garage doors. If you change your mind, you wanna add on a second, you can do that. You just open it up and add on the wires. You can buy those separately later if you want. Also, it comes with this uh, Amazon Fire tablet, and the good thing is it's preloaded software on there, so you don't have to install anything. As soon as you enter your Wi-Fi password, this is up and running. It's just so simple, which I really like. And then you get some clips uh, for mounting the tablet if you want, and the plugs and things are, are in there. Um, so what do you need on your end to get this to work? You need a cell phone with texting ability, so that's pretty easy. Also, in your home, you need a wireless router. So here's how this works. Let's say you left the States, you flew over, you're in Europe, and you think, did I close my garage door? Well, if you go on your phone and you get into messages, you can text status uh, to this unit, and it will tell you if it's open or closed. Then you can text closed door, and it will close the door for you. So it's not like a regular remote. You're going to still use your car remotes when you come home, things like that usually. But this will control it. Uh, in a way that your remote could never do. So it's not immediate like a remote opener because it's going through the network, but it's, you know, the speed of a text message is how fast this is going to go to open the door. You need to install this piece somewhere on your garage door opener. Now this is a magnetic sensor and a magnet, and it communicates to the Paladin whether the door is open or closed. There's several places you can install this, so look on their website for different options. I installed mine on the chain and it worked out great. Here's how I did it. So this side of the chain, I can, I put a zip strip here just to show you. If I have this as the closed position, just a little bracket, this sensor will go on there, and I'm going to zip strip this end to the chain. Um, let me open up the garage door and you can see where this strip ends up going, okay? And I'll push the button on the remote. You can see it's just there in a straight line. It doesn't go around any curves at all. It just has, the only obstacle is this trolley right there. So I gotta put the sensor on the top. That way it won't hit the bottom of that piece of metal there and it won't bump into anything else. And uh, you can go to the hardware store, buy a piece of metal bracket. And then this end of the sensor is gonna strap on right on the top like that. And you can have about a half inch gap in between and it'll still work. So. You don't want these super close to each other where they're uh, you know, gonna hit and rub up against each other. You want some space in there. So give it about a quarter inch and you should be good. So uh, I don't have a tripod this high to record all this. So I'm going to just do it and then we'll jump to the next part. It's hooked up now. Let's see how it travels. That worked really well. I just used a couple zip strips right in between the links of the chain through the screw mount holes. And, uh, and I have, you know, at least a quarter inch gap in between the two. Hot glue works really well. I tried to pull it off and it wasn't easy. So get your glue really hot and uh, I probably won't have to do any more work on keeping that down. I was thinking epoxy, but I think that'll work. I used a lot of zip strips to uh, tie everything to the bracing. And that worked out really well. You can see the strip going across there, holding the main unit. Um, I plugged it in to the same outlet as the opener on the ceiling. Use a staple gun and zip stripped it down here just to keep all the wires clean. You don't want wires hanging around here because they, get, 
they could get uh, pulled in, pulled in and, and ground up against this gear there. The last thing we do is hook up these wires, and this is the only wired connection besides plugging it into the ceiling. And these wires go into the two ports that are used by the wall button opener. So this is the wall button and this is the eye sensors. But if you're wondering which wires are the wires for your openers and which ones are the wires for the sensors, see this is black and white, and this is red and white. You can go down there and look at the wiring that's coming out of the wall and you can see this is black and white. So the wall button is the red and white. These wires break easily, so don't bend them around too much. And to release them, you push this button in, and this wire will come out. You push that button in, that wire comes out. And I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the camera. So it's just not going to work. I have to put the camera down. So I'm going to push those, release the wires, and then put in these ones here. So these new black and red wires are in the same holes as the wall unit's red and white wires. Okay, so really simple to, to hook all this up. Here's a quick overview of how the software works. Um, you can see this is the main page as soon as you start the app and my garage door is open so I can close it from here if I want. And it gives an update on the status as soon as it's closed. Pretty simple really. If you click on users, I have me and my wife with our phone numbers and you can edit, let's see if we add in a new person here so you can put in their for, uh, their name their phone number and that allows their phone to be able to send text to open the door so you could also require them to put in a password you can set time limits here so I have a window where maybe I want this certain person to be able to access this door so I could put in the time there and the date there and you know number of events or the date to end it I can say what days of the week I want this to happen you know, it's, it's uh, pretty cool. That way, how do I get out of here? There we go. Um, you know, there's a lot of options with that. Let's see, schedules. This is a neat one, auto close. Let's edit this. So you can set your garage door to automatically close no matter what, um, as long as there's nothing blocking it, I guess. So I can set it to minutes or hours. So right now I have it at 25 minutes. So when the garage door is open, like if a, a kid gets his bike out and leaves it open, in 25 minutes it's going to shut. And that's really helpful. I like that tool. You can also edit things like this. Let's go here. Settings. You can give the doors different names, door 1 or door 2. You can um, have it be an open switch, closed switch, and that's more technical if you're going to change those kinds of things. But uh, it's really, really cool. So I've had this for about a week now and it's worked perfectly and I gotta say I really like it and uh, one thing I like the most is the automatic close feature. You know, I've had stuff stolen out of my garage before because it was left open and if this can save me from one theft of a bike or a power tool, it totally pays for itself. On top of that, you can check to see if the door is open anywhere in the world. You can get a text message if anybody opens the door. Uh, if you got questions about it, send me a message and I'll do my best to answer. Also, I'll put all the info in the description of the video. You can go to their website and read all the tech information. And Oh, and the coupon code, before I forget, if you want to get 15% off when you buy it, the coupon code is 15OFF046. So 15 off 046 and you'll get a discount when you buy it. So anyway, if you install it, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and tell us how it went for you. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.